It's going now. Yeah. So. What, running? Yeah. All right. Um, now this is a drill which um, incorporates the counter I just showed you against the shield strike. So you start from uh, from sick board, like so. Here the hip is already loaded. Render, da 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 da, render, da da. As you thrust, you pass and thrust on this line. Now comes the difficult bit. You rotate your arms, step forward, passing through third, cutting back into sixth. Again, thrusting from sixth. I remember that on YouTube now. From the other side, sick board, thrust. Now. Third board cut back into six. Thrust. Durchtritt, tread through, cutting from back uh, from third board back into six. And you can just as well do it backwards, right? Okay. I'll do one frontally. <laughs> see how I gradually sidestep? Mm -hmm. If you see the rear foot, maybe you want to uh, film the feet only. Okay. The footwork. Because so I gradu step, gradually step offline and uh, gather the rear foot again. Okay, that was uh, from six. And what we did yesterday was um, from second, strike, winding up. Strike, winding up. Strike, winding up. The winding up prepares you for going to half and into a cover position. Okay? Because you already have this pivoting. Then uh, the other combo we did, oh, I've got to just do it from a different angle again. Cut, winding up. Tilt has to be higher than the point. And remember this strong angle. It mustn't be like this, it mustn't be like that. This can, uh, um, this can catch a blow, this will collapse. From third, left shoulder, you can do either this, pivot, and cut up. Guillotine move again, right? Show it again. position is different to what we just had. Note the difference. This is slicing from up, from down to, to up. This is actually thrusting downwards. So difference, second, and thrusting downwards. Third, cutting, slicing upwards. Now you can connect these. Oh no, first I'll show you um, the combo from first board, under arm, falling under or cutting to the hand, cutting up. Actually, correct way, like in the book, would be bucklers on the outside, because I've, if I get overbound here now, it's easier to shield strike like so. So please don't do it like this, like I did in the beginning. When you cut to the hand, 
have the shield here, not here. Because if he overbinds me here, more difficult to do the counter you just tried out. Okay, so the combo goes like strike either with a long edge if you have a short sword or with a, a short edge if you have a, a, a longer sword uh, to where the, where the hands would be if he was in half. Then cut up and guard yourself with the buckler. This is very important to switch here. Do it frontally again. <laughs> Sorry. Buckler was wrong. Now uh, you can connect these drills. For instance, combo number one. Now cutting from third or from the left shoulder, slightly sink the pommel and pivot with a pass, which is the equivalent to this flow. Only we start from here. Start from here. Sink the pommel as you start the passing step. Cut. It's the end position of uh, combo number one. Okay. Okay. The second two moves were actually combo number two. Or alternatively. Now you can thrust from here, depending on your feet. You might do it differently than in the first drill we just had, where we were thrusting like this. You can, of course, thrust from here as well, like so. So you just pick up connecting points, and you can make the complete thing into running at your enemy and nailing, nailing him into the ground. Okay. All right.